I haven't uncovered any dark secrets in my coffee cup, but uh, I'm ready to find some more in the summer house. The mobile home. Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. Oh. What was he running from? Well... His conscience? <laughs> I don't know if you can outrun your conscience by going to Canada. You can if... Uh... No. No, you can't. I'm trying to think of a Canada joke. It's not working. Yeah, it isn't. That's that. okay. I'll give you an A for effort. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, it was a good one. <laughs> I know I'm running from something, but I've never felt so free. Right. Hey, could it be the key for the locked drawer in Grandma's desk? It very well could be. Only one way to find out. Absolutely. Oh, crackers. Nice. Yummy. Come on, let's try it. Yes. Driving up and down the highway and byways looking for the perfect spot. Somewhere secluded where no one would think to look with a little bit of space and I know you always like to place near the water. I'll find something soon. Just keep biding your time and don't let on. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Maybe. Or... Yes. Maybe he thought better of it. Like, maybe he met somebody else. Somebody who caught his eye while he was on the run. Somebody without, like, kids and responsibilities and stuff. Could be. I'd just be a little surprised. He seemed quite devoted. Jesse James Hideout, huh? Oh. Is there anything else? No, I see. Huh. No. Let's try and get to the crawl space. And seeing as it's in the back of the house. This would take some real, real big renovations. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot, too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, I love it. True, Equal though. opportunity cryptids. Very forward-thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Yeah. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Uh, it's locked. Right. Can 
I get in through the window, maybe? Oh, no. Maybe I can, uh, no. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Well, life happens. I'm still wondering how to get into the crawl space. Maybe I can just, can I get that stuff away? How do I get in there? I don't know. So this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. No. Oh. What's a table doing down here? And why did my Google Assistant just turn on? Anyway. Hello, Google. See, it doesn't work. Random. Weird. Okay, Google. Turn off. It would have turned off my phone. <laughs> wow. Uh, weird. Hey, Mom. Ooh. Oh, cool. What was that? Ooh, this is good. Mom's got to see this. And she will. Oh, wow. What's, what's furniture doing under here? Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom, I found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat. Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like 
Well, it looks like a boat. A houseboat. Right. Mm, can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. <laughs> that narrows it down. Yeah. But isn't there any kind of record where the boat was towed on? Go mechanics! Oh, oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. Yeah. I'm not gonna be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I wanna go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you wanna go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not yes. gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. There. Right, what do we have? Another set of keys. No video oh. games back then, I guess. Poor, nope. deprived kids. No video games back then. A novel traveling game over the Alps. Yeah, why not? Let's play. Magico. Test your skills of memory. Oh, how fun! Tickets Wait, for a state fair. Did they not get to use these? No, apparently not. Good for one A ride. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little. But she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Me neither. Oh my god, Aunt August. I have... So many questions. Me too. Anything interesting? No. Another note. I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. And another map. Ah, oh, oh, what's that? Treasure map. <gasps> I knew it! Knew what? This map could only be the directions to the lost bootlegger gold. Tess, this was clearly drawn by a child. Perhaps it was a so... particularly childlike bootlegger. Seems more like August to me. 
Looks like she was just playing buried treasure. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? Just try it. It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. Come on, let's go. I'm curious, really. Okay, here's a flower uh -huh. cake. This must be the key to the van. Right, let's go. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an oh. acoustic guitar. Old eye, please. A concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under the carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. Let's play. Can we play? No. Too wow. bad. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But not a fair. I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing me every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left and now it's just me, Gordon, and the door from Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Well, well, that's brutal. Death of a salesman. Is that a guitar pick? Can I pick up the vinyls? Find anything? Nope. I'll try again. Letters. Holy shit. This summer's been real out there, but I've got a split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. On my bike headed to Kelly. Look me up if you're ever out that way. Can we take that? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's take it. Uh, can we? No, we can't play the vinyls. Too bad. Find anything? Yeah. Well, actually, yes. I found um, this. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like <laughs> such an idiot. I'd I guess put you would. All my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like an asshole. <laughs> hey, language. But you're right. But he was. All right. You're not wrong. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. That's kind of true, though. No, you're right. I mean... Eventually, every relationship ends, right? Even with Grandma, right? Well, I mean, more of... No, not so much, uh... 
I will always be there for you. You know that, right? Like we were there for Grandma. Uh-huh. But with someone you voluntarily put yourself into a relationship with, like a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, it's different. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, well, he did leave, way, right? He's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Um, I will. I also found this little screwdriver. Okay. That might come in handy. Oh, dear. So... This is absolutely story-rich, lore-rich. I'm curious to see more. Definitely curious. It's, uh, well, so many memories popping up here. Uh, where did we need a screwdriver, though? I kind of like these games where you just um, do stuff and then what's in here discover that was my mom and dad's more. room well just my mom's room last we were here then dis discover Look, I think I could rooms. twist this open from the inside with that little screwdriver I found oh handy handy hey good work thanks mom That bed looks comfy. Oh, really? A Bible? No. Get away. The astrology book. Huh. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. I mean, she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Yep. Can we? No, too bad. My grandma used to have one of these little babies in her home somewhere. Ah, oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <laughs> um, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh. Yeah, let's see. Locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Well, you have a screwdriver, right? The little key from Grandma's diary. <gasps> right. Try it. Come on. Nice. 
Jeez, it's open. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you, all for you. And those are my kids too, you know. I have a right. Pierre Lautrec. What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? Uh, I... Well, was Grandpa Leo <laughs> not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying no to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. I mean, it, it's possible to find someone, but it's like... We should go ago? check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and... Mom, stop. The house can wait a day. This can't. The house actually can't wait. A day? I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. True that. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't <laughs> win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. What the heck? Is this piano track guy mom's dad? We found an address. We gotta go check it out. Absolutely. Our condolences. <laughs> I uh, should have sent a condolence card to my dad's address when he married his second wife. But anyway, um, no, cutesies. Why could I? Well, let's go to Canada, right? 